Welcome to another talk about 70.3 Michigan to get me uh, get the setup here going on so I can see if anybody puts comments or anything in here. And I'm Ryan, setspacetriathlon.com. Uh, do a little preface like I've done with these videos. I am not racing 70.3 Michigan, uh, but I'm coaching athletes that are doing it. And I've made training plans for the race. And typically I go through the course, uh, the information as I normally would my athletes. And a long time ago, just found it useful and beneficial to record them, put them out there. Uh, now I've gotten sophisticated in doing Facebook Lives, and later recording them and putting them on YouTube uh, for everybody to enjoy for years to come. So hopefully you find this useful and good information to have, but I wanted to go over the athlete guide. It's been out, I think, for over a week now or so, and it's very useful to have. Um, if you're new to 7.3, if you're new to Ironman uh, or Ironman distance races or anything like that, I think the athlete guide is the number, none, number one go-to place for information for the race. Uh, it's basically got a lot of answers to a lot of questions people ask, specifically in the Facebook groups or asking questions that typically are answered in the athlete guide. So. What I'm going to do is we're going to pull it up and we're going to go through it kind of page by page. Uh, and typically what I do for any race that I'm doing, I'll print out the athlete guide, but I only print the pages that I need because usually they're about 50 some pages. And there are some pages that are just nothing but advertisements and there's no reason to print out whatsoever. Uh, if you're not doing a Paralympic uh, race or something like that, then those sections don't apply to you. So we print out, you're not doing a relay. You know, there, there's different things, physically challenged athletes or anything like that. If you're not, that's not for you, then don't print it off and don't take it with you. If I print it off, have it with me for the race. Typically, I have it, and then when I unpack my bag whenever I get home after the race, throw away the, the athlete guide and get ready for the next race. So, let's go through. You can see on the background here, uh, on the Ironman 7.3 Michigan uh, main page here for Ironman, and you go down, you go to athletes, you go to athlete guide, and there it is. If you click the athlete guide link, it brings you down to PDF, and I always download it and save it to my computer just for having, just for grins and giggles. Um, you can even, I put it on like Google Drive. That way, if I need to access on my phone somewhere, I can. Um, it's been very helpful, especially if I've driven to events, because typically they'll put the address of like athlete check in or whatever. So if you're going directly to a race venue, you're traveling, Going directly to athlete check-in, boom, you got the address, you know where to go, know where to park, all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to kind of go through the guide, and I'm just going to kind of hit the highlights. Um, I definitely recommend downloading it and reading through it. Um, you know, like I said, save the PDF to your phone or something, so when you have some downtime, you can go through and kind of read and hit the highlights and stuff for yourself. <clears throat> so go through the pages. I always like to print off the front page because it's kind of nice, you know, have a little cover for your page. Usually don't do the table of contents. If you want to know a little bit more about the race director, about Joel Gaff, it looks like, um, you can read up about him. It's kind of interesting stuff. Important thing is event schedule. You know, they've got them separate on the website, so you can go through and do the event schedule. But the event schedule is also in the athlete guide, so you don't have to turn off one once. <clears throat> so Friday is athlete check-in. Saturday is mandatory bike check-in, athlete check-in. And then Sunday is race day. So... What they've been doing for uh, Ironman races, 70.3s, for 2021 is they're doing um, where you sign up for your check-in slot when you first go pick up your race packet. You sign up online through your active.com account and you pick a time slot to come in. And then you pick up your, your race bib, your, your swim cap, and your bag, and all your shirts, and all that kind of good stuff. So it's been kind of convenient. It kind of spreads people out. It's not the end-all be-all, so for some reason something comes up and you miss your window, it's not the end of the world. They're not going to say, oh, you missed your window, you're out of luck. <clears throat> Just sign up for a time slot, and, and then you get a QR code that's on your phone. You can save it on your phone, and you go in, they just scan it, and you answer the health questions. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Then when you're there, they'll have these tickets for your bike check-in times. Again, try to make that bike check-in time. It's not the end of the world. If you don't, if something comes up, I know for me personally, um, 70.3 Des Moines, I had something come up and I was trying to get stuff ready and I just totally missed the time slot, but it wasn't a big deal. They're not going to sit there and check everybody and hold you to it, but it's a nice way, you know, social distancing and everything kind of in effect still to space everybody out. So it's not just everybody at one time just trying to get in. So try to pick a time that you think you can make and try to make that time. <clears throat> so Friday you can do check-in. Saturday is mandatory bike check-in. So you have to check in your bike overnight. 
So I've done, I did a video uh, a few days ago about um, your tire pressures. So this is going to be important, especially if it's kind of warm. But I think I did the weather video and it's looking to be in like high 60s or 70s. So probably won't be that big of a deal unless you air, you pump your tires up to about 120 PSI. So you do have to check in your bike. It will be there over the day. It could get rained on. Pretty much every event that I've had to check in my bike the night before, USAT National 7.3 to 1, Tulsa, has been rained on the night before. Um, so just be ready for that. If you have gear on there, make sure you bring a bag. If you want to cover your, your electronic shifters, all that kind of fun stuff, cover your drivetrain. You can't bring like a whole bike bag to cover your bike bag. But anyway, so this is when you have to check in your bike the day before. Athlete briefings, uh, I think right now they're doing them in person. Uh, they've been doing virtual ones as well, so check their Facebook page. You can get the virtual ones if you can't make it or if you don't want to go in person or anything like that. Uh, that is important. Sunday, they got transition opens at 5.30 a.m. I highly recommend getting there as soon as it opens up just to make sure everything's good. Make sure you check in, especially if there's weather. Make sure your bike's okay and all the goodies. Um, just give yourself plenty of time. You don't want to be in a rush. Soak it all in because you're not going to sleep well the night before. Anyway, here is the rest of the deal. Mandatory bike gear checkout. Bike checkout doesn't start till 2.15 p.m. Award ceremony 2022 Ironman 74.3 World Champion slot allocation. So, they're not going to give away slots to 2021 St. George. That is already closed down and shut, and they figured out who's going there. 2022 has been reset to St. George again. So, if you want to go there, you have to be there in person. So, they've kind of changed this. You must be present claim your spot. So they're not doing electronic checkout or, or roll down like they were at the beginning of the season. Unless there's like, I've heard there are a few instances where weather rolled in and they had to close down the, the event or whatever. So then they did uh, slot allocation via email and stuff like that. So just, it just depends on your race and everything. But right now, plan to be in person if you want your 7.3 world championship slot allocation and then the volunteer banquet. <clears throat> so athlete check-in, I think this is good information to have. When and then where. So they give you an address. And notice this link is a hyperlink. It shows you where to go. Open Space Park. So I think that's kind of nice. Gives you an exact link. I wish I would open it up in a different browser so I can go back. Hit the athlete guide. Follow me here. Don't, don't let me lose you. So it's nice because this athlete guide, if you do download it, it's got active hyperlinks. So this took you to Open Space Park, Traverse City. There you go. Then what to bring, and then check in a screening. So here's your QR code that you need to get after you checked in on active.com and picked the time slot. Check in screening questions, check in steps, emergency contact, all those kind of good stuff. Everything is digital. It used to be you had little papers, you filled it out with all your information. Now it's all digital. Uh, your pack will include race bib, helmet sticker, swim cap, uh, bike checkout ticket, athlete wristband. Don't forget your swag bag probably and your t-shirt. Make sure you pick up everything in there. Athlete wristband, bike stickers, relay teams, all that good information. So I think this is a good page to have. This one I would not print off. Uh, Pre-race, this is what they'll ask you to answer. Um, so just be ready for that. Uh, obviously, if you're feeling ill or anything like that, probably not good that you go to the race and try to do it. Pre-race info, physical address again, uh, Ironman Village information. Click here to check out Ironman Village selection on the website. So this is interesting. So if you're wondering who's going to be at Ironman Village, I think it's awesome that they have linked all this stuff. So services, partners, event coaches, uh, they don't have any there, nutrition. So it sends you back to the website. So these are partners and vendors, athletic brewing, fond memories, graphics, play, tribe, race day wheels, and or exhibitors, Ironman information. Link. So this one's a little bit sparse, but for most events, I got a list of everything. Everybody's just got a group down there. So mandatory athlete briefing. They say mandatory, but they're not taking attendance, but it's good to be there, especially if this is your first, and especially this is the first 7.3 Michigan, um, since this is 2021. So just make sure that you're there and you understand what's going on. Uh, Pre-race swim advisement. Uh, we know practice swim prior to race day. Athletes wishing to swim prior to the event will be able to swim at Frankfurt Public Beach, the West End of Main Street. 
So if you want to do a free swim, make sure you read athlete guide, personal safety, mandatory bike check-in, just kind of went over that. Race day info, race warning procedure, transition opens at 5.30 a.m. on race warning. Remember to bring your timing chip, wet soup, sun cap, your, your bib, all kinds of good stuff. We'll only start at 8 a.m. for uh, age group athletes. Uh, you're not putting in transit area without your wristband, body marking. Uh, there'll be no body marking, so um, I do race, uh, do uh, tri tats. So if you want to bring them, you can, but there is no body marking. So just be ready for that. That there's no, no body markers if you want to do it. More power to you, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. This is important. If all the questions on what's going to be on the course, it's right here in the athlete guide. This is what they typically will have. They're probably there might be some changes here and there, so don't get bent out of shape if maybe they don't have big bars or potato chips or something like that. But this is what they generally have on their uh, person. I like the big bars. Quantum energy squares aren't too bad. I've never done the Martin energy gels. I'm a Red Bull guy, but I do it on the run. Gator endurance is my go-to, and I always like water. So this is all what they're going to have. So again, if you got questions, athlete get has it in there, or you know the web page. Um, if you go to the event page, usually it will have sections on there what they're going to provide on the course. Um, but this is made pretty close to events, so this is pretty should be pretty accurate what they're going to have at the race. Another advertisement I wouldn't print that print that off. Race day info, uh, timing cutoff. So if you need that information, it's right here. Timing tip information. Ironman tracker. I love me an Ironman tracker. I track all my athletes with it. If I'm not doing a race, perfect. Wetsuit optional race. Uh, going through the weather conditions. Um, it needs to be 76.2 degrees or less to be wetsuit legal. I'm going to make a guess that it's probably going to be wetsuit legal. Usually it is around Lake Michigan. So I, I would bring your wetsuit, um, but they'll call it out if it is or isn't. And it really doesn't take that much room in your bag to bring that. Uh, relay info. So if you're doing a relay team, here's all your information in your athlete guide. So if you got any questions, start there. Post-race info, bike checkout, food, board ceremony, race photography, pictures, lost and found, medical area, volunteers. So if you want this kind of information, here it is in post-race info. Wouldn't print this page because it's advertisement, advertisement, advertisement. See what I'm saying? I wouldn't just hit print because it's 55 pages. So I would go through and pick out the pages you want. If you're, qual if you're wanting to qualify for 70.3 Worlds in 2022, these are the slot allocations uh, information. Uh, you have to be there in person. Notice this, before race day, each age group athlete with registered athletes typically allocate in one slot. Uh, so let's have a race, blah, 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 race day. So just be careful when you go to do the check-in. Typically, they've been asking people if you want to be eligible for this, if you haven't already signed up. Now, this may have changed because they're not doing it digital anymore. Um, but just be aware when you get there. Uh, they are uh, allocating, doesn't say anymore. They used to be doing like 200 slots per race uh, for the 2021 just to fill it up, but it doesn't look like they're calling out. Yeah, they're saying they're tentatively allocated one slot. Uh, all their slots available for the race, proportionally allocated or not allocated until race day. Oh gosh, it doesn't look like it says how many they're going to allocate. Interesting. So anyway. That may change, so qualifying, you have to be there in person for the roll-down ceremony is the moral of the story. If you won your age group, you're probably qualified, but make sure you can hang out, and it's going to be allocated the rest of them for how many ventures in each age group, so just be ready. So roll-down, during roll-down, all the information, print this page off if you're interested in qualifying for Worlds. Don't print this page advertisement, don't print this page advertisement. Great stuff, whatever. But yeah, it takes up paper and ink, so I don't burn it off. Notice, I did do a swim course review, but they have changed it. Now it is in Betsy Bay. So it used to be out in the harbor, if I recall correctly. And it is a one lap, 1.2 miles, so it's a triangle. So it's kind of nice. You only got one, or you start this way, one, two, beach, two turns. Um, that's pretty straightforward and simple. Turn it to red buoys, nothing crazy. So again, if you wanted the course maps, they're on here on the website. You go to the course. All the course maps are here, swim, bike, run, or they're in the athlete guide. So you can just print them out from here and have them with you. I always kind of like it because then you can kind of see what's going on. 
uh, rolling start. So, so make sure you're ready for the rolling start. They'll send athletes probably three or four every five seconds. So just many, just remember you have an hour and 10 minutes, no matter where you start, you're at the front, you're at the back, swim seed accordingly. You have still get an hour and 10 minutes wherever you line up. So make sure you line up the right spot. Uh, swim course rules. We already kind of talked about the wetsuit rules. They got them right here. Swim course rules. Um, so read through that. Stuff about you can't have you can hang on a kayak, but they can't move you forward and race all that kind of fun stuff. But you can't stop and hang on a kayak if you need to. You're not disqualified, but you still have that hour and ten minutes swimmer policy. So if you do, if it's not wetsuit legal, you got to make sure you follow these rules for your speed suit or swim skins. Advertisement when printed. Uh, swim start checklist. You can print that. Kind of read through it. Bike course. It's good to have the map. One loop. Out back, I already did my video talking about that, so I'm not going to hit on too much. Turn by turn directions. Again, if they change anything in the course, don't exactly be hooked on the turn by turn directions because it could not be accurate. Uh, Ventum, I wouldn't put that off. Uh, position rules, make sure you know drafting rules so you don't draft them in trouble. Um, blue card, blue card, blue card. What happens? Five minutes, five minutes, and disqualified. So don't, don't draft, don't be disqualified. Uh, more by course rules, so that's always good to read through. You know, I would print these pages and, and read them specifically. I know I'm blowing through them pretty quick, but it could be some good information in there that is specific to your course. So if something's going on specific to your course, it's very special. It could be in here, and this is not going to be the same for every course. So I would definitely print this off and read through it and be very mindful of what's in there. Cycle Smart Checklist. I go ahead and print that off. Uh, don't print that off. Advertisement. Bike Store and Tech. Um, I print this off just in case something comes up, you know, if you're, if you have a problem with your bike, you can take the plate try and this kind of explains what they'll do for you. Uh, advertisement, advertisement, wheel rental. So if you're doing that, I would check ahead. Uh, a lot of the times are already sold out before the race even happens. Um, but that's in there if you want advertisement, advertisement, run course, two loops, already did a video on it. Make sure you're aware. Good stuff. Turn by turn advertisement, run course rules. So I would check that out, print it off, make sure you read through it, make sure you understand the rules, all that good stuff. Advertisement overall rules. I print those off and just read through them just in case there might be some weird little rule you didn't know about. And I'd hate for you to get dinged out there because you didn't know the rules of the race. As I said, some of these rules are going to be different. Some are generic for every race and some are specific to that race. So make sure you know people are talking about phones, headphones, all this other stuff. It is spelled out in the overall rules. If you're wondering if you can wear your headphones in the race, Maybe you can, maybe you can't, maybe you can bring your phone, maybe you can't. It's probably event specific sometimes, so make sure you read through. This has every question that's ever been asked in your Facebook group. Uh, physically challenged rules, so if you're in this division, make sure you read through that. Another advertisement page I would not print off. I print off the violations just so you know about them. Uh, you know, helmet, chin strap, race number, littering, unauthorized equipment. No communication devices, in future players, or other audio devices. Yes, that means no cell phones are used during competition. So, again, there's the rules. It's right in there. If you get dinged for it, then you got no excuse. Uh, medical policy, make sure you read that. You know, we all don't think we need medical until we need medical on race day. Uh, 2014, Ironman, Texas. I did my little visit to the medical tent. So, make sure you're aware of the medical policy. Um, like I said, you don't need it until you need it. It's all good. All world athletes. So, if you're looking to get your all world athlete status, here's some information in here. Curious about that. Advertisement, advertisement. Uh, frequent last questions. How does medical sport work on course? How do I get my active QR code? Bib list be posted. That's a big one. Bibs won't be assigned until you check in on uh, on athlete check in because they're all there because you're picking your time slots and it's just hard. They can't. You don't want the, the staff sitting there thumbing through all these numbers for hours on it to just draw out the check-in time. So basically, you're assigned a number that's at the top of the pile. That's your number. And off you go. So it'll be assigned. But they'll send out. They've been sending out like tri-clubs so you can try to get through together. Um, so everybody in the tri-club can pick the same check-in time. So if you all get there at the same time, all your numbers will be together and you can rack together. So just be aware of that. Uh, how to update your tri-club affiliation. Age group info. So I'd print this page off just so you have it for the last questions. Uh, advertisement, advertisement, athlete checklist. I've published my own. They've got one on here. So it's always kind of good to print this off. It might have some information that, uh, you know, that I don't have on mine. Uh, I always try to keep 
updated and stuff, but it just might have some stuff on there. Uh, advertisement, advertisement, advertisement. Advertisement, advertisement. So, again, when I print this out, usually I'm printing out probably half of this just because there's a lot of advertisements in the athlete guide and I don't like to waste my paper and ink. But that in a nutshell, it's kind of going over the uh, 7.3 Michigan athlete guide. Uh, I just wanted to kind of go through this because I like to drive home the point that these athlete guides have the question, the answers to most of your guys' questions out there that you're asking all the Facebook groups. Just read the athlete guide. If you're watching this on YouTube, I usually will put a link to the athlete guide in the description of the video so you can click on that, download it. Now, be aware, you know, this is August 24th. And when we're looking at race day at September 12th, there might be an instance where they go through and change some stuff. But always pay attention to their Facebook page and other little nuances going on. They could change something at the last minute just because that's the world we live in right now. Uh, things happen, things change, so just be ready for that. Um, I do like the athlete guys now because they're getting a little bit smarter with it. They've linked it to uh, where you the uh, Open Space Park is a lot of the events going on. Um, so make sure you're ready with that. So I always like to kind of look around. This kind of tells you where everything's at. Uh, I am kind of curious. Well, I've got you here. Let's do directions. Frankfurt, Michigan. Don't do Frankfurt, Germany. When you're looking at the weather, don't do Frankfurt, Germany. So this is kind of interesting. Betsy Lake and Frank. So that's, you got to be careful with these athlete guides because I don't think you want to drive 12 hours to open space park. So hopefully if you watch this long, this far into it, open space park is more than likely notice that this hyperlink took me to the wrong space. Open space park in Traverse City. You want open space park in 800 Main Street, Frankfurt. So, this makes a little bit more sense. Betsy Lake, Open Space Park. So, you got to be careful. Hopefully, you watched this far because if you didn't, this hyperlink. We'll take you to the wrong open space park because you don't want to go to Traverse City, Michigan, which is what I thought kind of odd. You want to go to 800 Main Street, Frankfurt, Michigan. So this is why I print it off because I can type this in Google and it'll take me right to the right spot. Everything's going on right here. Uh, notice the swim used to be kind of out here in the harbor. There's some uh, main main uh, barriers out there and stuff, but they've kind of swim changed the swim to be in this Betsy Lake and that's where everything's going on. So. I was just curious about that because that didn't make sense. But that's why you read the athlete guide. That's why you check all these things. This is where all the action's going in Open Space Park. So it's kind of nice. I would definitely set everything up, you know, wherever you're staying. Right there, Open Space Park. With that, hopefully uh, I've, I've kept you here long enough to, to drive home the point. You know, make sure you read through the athlete guide. Check everything. Uh, make sure it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, make sure you get your questions answered. You already have questions, read through the athlete guide because 99% of your questions are going to be answered in the athlete guide. Make sure you check on a regular basis because sometimes they do, do, do change things. So in the world we live in nowadays, everybody should be used to change anyway. So with that, hopefully you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment on there. This was great stuff. Comment on there. I think you missed some stuff. Um, explain why maybe the video wasn't great. Maybe I drove on too long. Maybe this took too long. Uh, we did 24 minutes to talk about it. Uh, if you see this on YouTube, put a comment on there, like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Um, let me know that you enjoy this stuff. Um, make sure that uh, I can keep doing this for the future. With that, uh, hopefully everybody has a successful day out at 743 Michigan. It's looking like a beautiful day. Uh, I think it should be an awesome race. And good luck out there, and we'll see you at the finish line.